Vanguard, this is away team. We are en route to the designated landing zone. All systems nominal. Uplink stable. We should be past the outer debris layer right about... Wow! My god. You see this, Vanguard? Crystal clear away team. Seems like long range scans were right. The planet is gone. If you see no clear approach vector, you have permission to abort. No. Some pieces of the crust look large enough for a touchdown, and we detect anomalous structures among the debris. We could take a look. Anything you can bring back from there will be invaluable, away team. Just be careful not to bite off more than you can chew. There are plenty of other worlds on our list. Copy that, Vanguard. Plotting the landing path. Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for joining us. Today, we are doing a uh, unboxing of something that we normally don't do an unboxing of. This is an unboxing of, of a, a box? proto of a box. <laughs> an unboxing of a prototype, which you all, I am sure, are fairly excited about. We are going to be opening up the prototype of ISS Vanguard. Normally, this would be a giant white box full of Awaken Realm stamps on the side. <laughs> Instead, the only indication I have is this incredible tape just wrapping around the you edges. You need some Quackalope tape. I do need some Quackalope tape. That, that is very accurate. So, <laughs> here's one caveat I want to paint ahead of time. I am not 100% familiar with this game. I know the basics. I know the overview. I've watched the videos that were put out. Uh, you know, giving us a, a spin through this. By the way, those videos I'll link down below. Really, really good overviews of what this is. But I haven't had a chance to play it yet. I haven't had a chance to watch content on it yet outside of those because it's brand new. And with that in mind, this is a prototype. So we're going to have nice quality B-roll showing you all of the components and everything. But this is not a finished production copy. This is a copy that is done well enough by Awaken Realms, of course. Something to wet your whistle. <laughs> To give us a chance to play through about three scenarios or three three of the storylines that are here um, and show it off to you, the community, and let you know what the gameplay is like. But please don't judge the final product based off of how you know what what's inside of this box because I literally don't know. I've seen pro prototypes that have come in all shapes and sizes, <laughs> and this is the first prototype I've received from Awaken Realms. So a good a good reason for me to be filming this. With that being said, Sean, you wanna let's dig in. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna cut a, cut a seam in the side of the box here, and then we're just gonna see what is inside. All right, right down the center here. Oh, around this other side. There we are. And uh, we're not gonna flip this over and dump it. I think that would be irresponsible. You just lift off that top section maybe. And check this bubble wrap. Sometimes they, they hide things in bubble wrap. I think this one's just uh, bubble wrap. Just, just put that. <laughs> nice packaging. I mean, even, uh, it, this even not, for a prototype. Oh <laughs> what do we got there? This is a prototype. That's okay. Heavy prototype. <laughs> this looks more for you. This is for me. That feels I, like a book. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know what you're insinuating with that comment. <laughs> You need, uh, you need one of these? Let me start opening this, and then I'll get that open. There you are. Like you said, very, very, very well packaged. So ISS Vanguard is going to be a space exploration game. As far as I'm aware when it comes to the storyline, uh, we are space explorers and travelers who've discovered that every little bit of biology, every sequence, has a piece, a data entry point on it, almost like a location or or a, a address in the galaxies. Okay. And so we're explorers that are searching out, collecting information on the biology, uh, the makeup of who we are, and then trying to path our way back home. And home, okay. in its essence, would be uh, home. In its, in its essence, would would be uh, wherever we were created. I think maybe like wherever we originated from, or. Maybe you're seeking getting, out. It's getting deep. No, I know, I know. I'm not, and I'm not sure what the story is, but it could be like, the, you know, it could be the genetic pathways. It could be we're seeking out God or, or some uh, ethereal plane. Mm -hmm. Who knows? I don't know where the story goes. Um, but it sounds interesting to me. Yeah, no. I love Awaken Realm, so they can do no wrong in my eyes. This is a very squeaky unboxing, though. Can Sorry. I have that knife? Yes. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop talking about this for a second and open this up. And that looks like it's a legitimate. So that's a legitimate box. Oh, it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Holy cow, look at that thing. <laughs> look at that thing. Look at this. I told you that was it's for like, you, Jesse. <laughs> it's like a legitimate. <laughs> it's a dome. A oh. Shit. oh. So, nice. some things that I am aware of. First off, there's going to be a narrative part of this that is deeper and different from most of the board games you will have experienced. Instead of exploring from the first person perspective or, or always talking from that narrator's voice, this is actually going to have your crew talking, conversing, squabbling around mm -hmm. decisions. And the really, really cool thing about this game is it is a cooperative game, okay. but you each have your own roles, abilities. It, it really requires not only interplay and inner conversation in the book itself, in the storyline that you're reading, but also around the table. Um, it okay. heightens the fact that you are a crew that must rely on each other to survive, overcome, and explore. Okay. Let's go ahead and start opening. So first off, this is insane. This is a prototype. So we've got, <laughs> we've got trackers over here. Uh, setting the stage for, and I don't know what these work for specifically, but these are going to be, this is going to be our uh, logbook. This is where we're keeping okay. track of everything that's happening. In the campaign or... Yeah. Welcome to ISS Vanguard Shipbook. You will use it during the ship phase to, mo to manage the ship and the crew, research new technologies, fly to missions, collect discoveries, manufacture gear, and more. The book also allows you to comfortably save your campaign and showcase your progress. The shipbook consists of several steps. Some resolved by a specific section, for example, research laboratory is managed by the science player, some resolved by everyone, and some by those who win a bid for one of the ship's duties. For example, a job of chief, chief navigator allows the player to take turns flying the ISS Vanguard. Each, each step begins with an index cardboard shipbook divider and contains from one to several cardholder pages. To complete the step, simply follow the rules outlined in the shipbook divider. So this is, like I said, this is our management. One of the really cool things, not only are you exploring, you're landing on various planets, you're digging into areas, you have stacks of cards that you can dig through. So imagine arriving at a location and you you search a little bit. You find the entrance to a cave, a little mm -hmm. bit of story and flavor, but then you have to return to the ship, you re-equip, you spend your resources, go back out. Now you're going into the cave. Yeah. You're choosing which tunnel to go down. You're confronting a creature, mm -hmm. gathering resources. You're bringing those back to upgrade and change the ship that you're traveling in. Right. All of this is this interplay between harvesting, collecting data and research, bringing it back to upgrade and change your crew mm -hmm. and your ship and your items to then go back out and harvest, gather information and, and continue that cyclical process. So in here, we can see on this prototype, on arrival, waiting cards, Look at this. I love the organization. Yeah, oh just because this is just going to have all of your data, right? Yeah. This is like, it's like a scientific book that you're opening up. I mean. Wow. I mean. <laughs> I just am loving the artwork. We already have some cards in here. Now, I'm not pausing on a lot of stuff because I want to make don't sure that we we're are going to be doing some full gameplay, but I don't want to spoil too much as we go through. And I'm discovering all of this for the first time as well. Uh, this is so cool. Just feel like... Oh, this isn't... That's awesome. I mean, it's literally, I mean, it's, it, it is literally a log book and a, uh, so like here we have research project cost, uh, three SP alien material samples requires one mineral discovery. We've taken samples and scans of the eye of the void. What can we learn from them? So this is a project you're working on. Once you have the ability to complete that with the cost and the mineral discovery, you maybe you get to activate or flip mm -hmm. it out or see what, see how it resolves. Very, very cool. That's very, a, very, very, very cool. Interesting. I like that. This is super very cool. organized. <laughs> I think the I think some people are really gonna love the organization yeah. factor of this. Let's see what's in that box. I know I'm, I'm over here. I love I love this cover. I wonder if this is the one they've chosen to go with. I'm not sure because I don't know when the prototype is made. I assume so because we have prototype demo on the side. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing: they've been working. I know they've been working really closely with the community to decide uh, what this game box is actually going to look like. Mm -hmm. And here's the crazy thing: I didn't mention this earlier. This is going to be the first ever project that is not kickstarted. I, I almost like I wanted to say kickstarter <laughs> yeah, there because it's what we do. <laughs> this is going to be funded on GameFound, which is Awaken Realm's own personal platform uh, that they've had open to the public for many, many years now. GameFound's a really interesting platform. It's a service where you can get access to it as a content creator on Kickstarter mm -hmm. and use it for your project management and your delivery yeah. afterwards. And Awaken Realms has never charged for that. Or GameFound is a company, cool. they don't charge content creators who are using their platform. 
and, and they've constantly been evolving it and, and upgrading it, the commenting, the engaging. I think even, even if you back or don't back ISS Vanguard, do the due diligence, do your research, decide if it's the right game for you. Yeah. Keep an eye on GameFound. Check out what they're doing on this page. They've been they've been working on launching this for two plus years when it comes to marketing for this right. project. Yeah. Uh, and so I feel like I feel like if I know Awaken Realms right, they're not gonna do something half-assed. You know, mm -hmm. it's just not uh it's not in there. It's not how they work. Oh, that box pool. <laughs> Start here. <laughs> Uh, so this is going to be the printed thing that's yelling at me as a uh, as a content creator. Important: this box contains demonstration a demonstration preview of ISS Vanguard, the board game. The game is still a work in progress, and its rules and components are subject to change. All text art assets are still in development and look fi and, and lack final editing. I like how this is all in red. Important: <laughs> this demonstration was produced using the off-the-shelf standard components such as generic white card holders and acrylic tokens. How disgusting. <laughs> the final product will use custom manufactured themed components instead. You know, Awaken Realms. Ginormous miniatures. I, I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate the note. I'm not sure I needed to be told, but I do appreciate it. Start here. Welcome to ISS Vanguard, a cooperative campaign board game for one to four players that allow you to explore the vast galaxy, command and upgrade your ship, and conduct research, manufacture equipment, and land on countless worlds, all while solving the mystery of the eons old star map embedded in our DNA. Whoa. That's what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, That's, right. Like, Where is it going back our to? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's so it's, it, it might not be discovering our own personal yeah. origin, but it's like we found this clue. Yeah. There's coordinates in our DNA. Let's find what it's leading us to, right? That, ex that I mean, yeah. and it is literally, you, you say that, and then you realize that is literally what human beings have done <laughs> for their entirety yeah. of the existence. We yeah. find something and we want to understand why it's right. there, what it came from. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Totally. Required documents. Uh, it doesn't contain everything. There is going to be some things that I have to download and print. Uh, there's app support. There's a really, really good quality, uh, in-depth audio narration of all of this with full uh, AF, like uh, sound effects and everything. Wow. Uh, like, I heard a sample. I think we're going to include some samples in our gameplay. <laughs> Mind blown. After Action Incident Report 105F. To summarize, we followed the extraterrestrial discoveries acquisition protocol to the letter taking all possible precautions. We didn't even scan the probe, fearing it would react. I am certain it activated on its own, triggered by our proximity. It began to emit wide spectrum pulses, including vibrations that unsettled the volcano. We tried to continue our work, but the tremors, lava blasts, and heat began to take their toll on the team, forcing us back. As soon as we left the lava chamber, we received a Vanguard transmission, warning us of the imminent eruption. Uh, all right. Either way, set that off to the side. Got some stuff to go into the binder. I there. You take the binder. You take it. I want to look at the box. box. Fine. You look in the box. I'll take the binder. <laughs> I'm just gonna binder. Here. This is a nice binder. Look at this. <laughs> well, that's what I wanted to see. Like, that's what I was going literature for. Literature upon literature. I want to get and look into the game. All right. All right. All right. You read and read and so, read. And I'll look and look. So these are going to be uh, just status cards and, and cards that we're using throughout our storyline. I wanted to find the standard off-the-shelf, not quality stuff that they chose to yeah. put in here. Yeah, look at this low-quality broken <laughs> token inserts that they've decided to include. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so these are little rank-up cards and other items that we'll use. Now, this... Uh, Seriously? <laughs> now, this here is a uh, Plantopia. Plan Plantopia. Planetopia. Planetopia. This is Planetopedia. going... Planetopedia. Planetopedia. Like an encyclopedia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was trying to read. <laughs> this is going to contain four prototype planet boards. Now, a planet board is going to be the uh, environment kind of like, okay. you're exploring. So, in your ship, you'll have, I believe, two stages of the game. You'll have the stage where you're upgrading, equipping, getting your, getting your gear ready, and then you'll fly off to explore. You'll land in one of these locations, and this is sort of the scenario... What? I'm sorry. Off the shelf. Hold your hand out. <laughs> yeah, those are standard dice. What? These are... <laughs> <laughs> All right, if they're including these dice, there's no way they're including these dice. Are you kidding me? Are these stone? I don't know what Or, that or is. like a glass acrylic? Like They're not, I mean, they're, they're kind of translucent. Look I mean, that. they're perfectly balanced. What is this? 
It's just standard off the shelf stuff. Just, just, just like you know, generic oh, yeah, yeah, off the no, shelf here, components. Here's some, here's some more. <laughs> okay, they do have a standard D10 oh. in there. There is a D10. Wow. But even all the these are, those are not Wait, regular six-sided dice. No, they aren't. And this isn't a regular D10. Okay. This is a custom D10. More? No, there's this one's regular. This one's regular. Well, That's one even of them's got a not. zero. One of them's not. I know. Regular. I said there's one. I didn't say there were two. There's one. <laughs> this is insane. So, all right, let me talk a little bit about these dice, because I do have a little bit of insight here. Okay. The dice in this game, there is going to be dice mitigation, there is going to be some dice rolling to resolve actions and effects, but also... I hope so if we're playing this these game. <laughs> dice, these dice specifically, I believe the dice are going to be used for your character boards as your action resource oh, okay. utility. Okay. So you're going to be, I don't know if you roll them, but I do know that these are going to be locked into your board, and you'll be spending them to take steps in actions, explore the planet, dive into locations... But again, what I was saying... Sorry, I just got excited. What I was saying, well, this is the Planet awesome Book, dice. and I already see some flavor text. Can you give that a read for me? TOI-2C, code name... Pellucid, an Earth-sized planet on the border of the habitable zone with elongated orbit. It gave life to an early Space Age civilization. Unfortunately, it was all but wiped away by when a strange crystalline structure shattered the planet to pieces. So it sounds like we have we have a, a strange crystalline su a st structure here to explore, some resources, okay. some organic matter, but then also the civilization. Uh -huh. Maybe there's some DNA code and some, oh, some stuff we can lead explore. Us on in our next. So we'll flip this over. G Y F two H code name Everstorm. I'm not going to read all of these. I want uh. to, but I, <laughs> I want to read them during the gameplay as well. G Y F two H code name. Everstorm. Another one of those. Oh, man. INF number 1A. Code name Brimstone. A very young, violent planet characterized by heavy systemic and geothermal activity. Its acidic atmosphere is rich in corrosive sulfides. Scans also reveal rich mineral deposits, vast cave systems, and liquid water pools. Wow. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> I like what I'm seeing. This is... I, when, seriously, when you read the standard typical shelf stuff, I'm like, they don't know how to do that. They don't know how to do that. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't. But but they don't know how to do that so oh, bad. Oh, there you go. This is what you were talking oh, about. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You deal with this. I want to look at these. <laughs> how are these standard or typical? <laughs> so dual layered. So when I select my character, and I'm not quite sure where my character is, maybe it's one of these cards here. Let's see here. Is it... Now, I'm not sure where my character char character cards here, but uh, like this is the engineering engineering section, and I will put my dice into these slots, seeing uh, seeing what sort of dice I have, uh -huh. and then I'll be spending those resources in order to take my actions. If the place gets injured, it'll move down here. We have various injury cards. Now the injuries are also going to be. I love the smell of wood. Now the injuries are also going to be very very specific. Uh, you're going to have things like. Uh, like oxygen leak or, or okay. over oxygenated, too much H2, you know, H2O. What, I think that's water. You're drowning, apparently. Uh, that's, I mean, really, like that's uh, that's going to be an element of this as well. I don't know if you're still watching. Thank you. I'm excited. I'm sorry. I cannot stop talking. Recon uh, section, science section, security section, card tray, and planet planetary exploration. So this is going to be. <laughs> Standard, off the shelf. <laughs> oh my god! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at this dude. Did they give us miniatures? <gasps> yes. Yes. What? What Look is at these? the details. First off, incredible detail. Uh, nice, uh, nice painting like normal. But I love these poses. So this, uh, this girl sitting here in like this full mechanoid thing with this giant, it looks like a mining gun or a trench digger. Oh my gosh. She's got here, she's picking like a vegetable off of the surface of some, uh, some planet, leaning, kind of leaning back and up. These are sick. Look at him, he's harvesting, yes. he's harvesting like a squid-like plant. It looks almost like he's underwater right now. Yeah. With a giant umbilical like cord, yeah. like observation drone popping out. My hands are shaking. All right, I'm now, so I don't think I can... So, I'm not going to go through yeah. all of these, but what I'm going to do is really quickly, I'm going to flash through them. These are the cards, Sean, that, like, as you're digging through, you're going to be able to search and dig and go deeper and deeper and deeper. Oh, okay. So, as so we kinda, explore, okay. everything has layers and levels and gets uh, gets even more advanced. What is this thing? <laughs> Standard this off the shelf. This guy's amazing. Standard off the shelf. 
It looks like it's got, is that like, that's a shield around it, isn't it? Yeah. It's Some like sort a plasma of like, something. Yes. Yes. He looks like a guy you don't want to mess with. Hopefully he's on your team. He's got to be, the, <laughs> no, he's definitely, he's definitely the end of our tutorial scenario. He's, he sounds like he speaks Here's with like, crew members, like maybe. a gravelly robotic voice. What'd you find? What'd you find? Oh, well, it says crew members there, but maybe we got to get the cards out from somewhere else. It's all organ. Organization, organization, organization. This is insane. Okay, I don't know. There's crew members right there. Crew members. So we have uh, Jopi Ulrich, Shirley Haynes, Carla, Goldban, uh, Kyo, uh, Astista Sama. Is there a pronunciation Yut, guide in that book? Theo, <laughs> Anne, uh, Ewald, uh, Babis, Cho, Aiden. Uh, this is so good. So these are going to be the characters that, I don't know that they slot in there, I think that's your section. Um, but these are going to be the different characters that you can play uh, and, and equip as yeah, your here's... crew. And I don't know, I honestly don't know if you're playing one character or if you're managing one substation, right? So maybe, oh, okay. you, have, maybe you have a team. Because yeah, there's these standard off-the-shelf boxes here. Um, Engineering section, oh yeah. Recon, science, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of these are security. going to be with more dice inside those boxes. Yes, so these all specifically <laughs> deal with this location so that, that's that I'm your setup. playing. You're manning, gotcha. you're manning a, a, a like spot on this spaceship. Just another standard. So, if you've watched this, hopefully you've enjoyed this unboxing. Of course, I've been showing you B-roll of the full setup of this prototype as we go. Stay tuned here for, for more coverage of ISS Vanguard on Quackalope. Hit that subscribe button down below. I am so absolutely thrilled to be covering this game. I have been bugging Awake and Rolling since we had, <laughs> I, think, I think it was 2,000 subscribers. Like we're almost at 20. I think it was 2,000 subscribers when I got, uh, I believe I got like, uh, like, what was it? Nemesis or Nemesis Lords of Hellas? Well, that was or one of their first I mean, I think I got Nemesis in, and it was the first time I had a clue towards this game. And since then, I've just been getting, I've began peppering them with with like little messages and harassment. <laughs> I mean, honestly, they could probably file for a restraining order because I've been so excited it's a good about thing this game. Overseas. <laughs> well, and here's here's my thing. I don't. I typically don't like space alien things. Like mm -hmm. you know, people know in this community, mm -hmm. Nemesis not my not my theme all the time. I do love exploration things. Yeah. So the difference here for me is we're not hunting down space aliens. We're not we're not on some mission to keep them from like coming back to Earth. Mm -hmm. This is exploring. This is the adventure that like speaks to the soul of mankind. I love that little narrative bit that we like that yeah. narrative got yeah. me so excited. Yeah. Our it's DNA cool. has a code and we've got to find back out. To the we, beginning. We, we want to know what it where it leads. Or or to somewhere important. Whatever it is, yeah. Who knows what it is? Who knows what it is? Whatever the case. Whatever you do, we're going to set this up and play it now. Hey. You good for the rest of the night? Let's go. What time does the wife Tomorrow's and children Saturday. <laughs> we're going to set up and play this now. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, whatever the case, whatever you do, remember to do the important thing. Be kind to one another. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.